Hi, my name is Quinn, and I'm a developer here with Scout APM. Today I'm going to be giving a quick demo on our latest feature, Manage Logs in Scout. We'll be covering the simple process of enabling logs monitoring for Ruby on Rails app, and then demonstrating how this integration with the existing Scout features can help make tracking down performance issues easier than ever. I've built this book recommendations Rails app for the demo. It's super simple. I've populated the database with hundreds of fake books and ratings records. The way it works is we can add any number of preferred genres here, and then when you submit the form, it returns the best fake books ranked by rating. If we look at the Rails code that runs this short query, we can see that we also use Rails caching to store recommendations for an hour. So before we run any queries, we check if the cache has a match for the requested genres and just return those if so. We're using the built-in Rails logger to log the requested genre as well as whether or not the cache was hit. I've already gone ahead and set up Scout monitoring for this app. It's a super simple process if you haven't done it. Basically, you just install a gem and add a provided config file. If you have any questions on that, we have great documentation and walkthrough videos available. The first time you click on the new logs tab, you'll be brought to the log signup page. We'll go ahead and enable the beta for this app. Right away, we're brought to the logs view. Since we're not sending any logs yet, this panel will give us instructions on setting up logs monitoring for a Rails app. All we need to do here is install a gem and add a couple lines of config. So we'll add scout apm logging to our gem file. Just don't forget to run bundle install. Then we'll just copy and paste these couple lines into our existing scout configuration file. Once we save that config and restart our app, we can refresh the logs page and instantly see logs streaming in. The logs in this table below are already loaded into your browser. We can apply severity filters on the fly to only see logs at a certain level. And if we see some interesting text, we can use this regex search to highlight everything that matches. Up here is where we can have more fine-grained control over which logs are being loaded. The most common action here would be to search for text inside the message body, so we make that especially easy. We also support more complex filtering by other log attributes. Any filtered view is URL shareable with your team. Having all your logs searchable in Scout is great, but the real value comes in in how well logs integrate with other Scout features. For example, here we are back on the overview page. We can see that Scout has detected a memory bloat insight in our controller. Clicking on this will take us to the trace of the exact request that caused the memory increase. It's tough to tell what could be happening from just this view, but notice the new Logs tab here. Clicking on that will take us back to the Logs view, but with a filter automatically applied to only load logs related to that specific trace ID. It looks like an error log was thrown during this request as well. And from this log, it seems like this was all due to a user sending a request with zero genres provided. I forgot to cover that case in my app, but it will be an easy fix. Now, let's go into the Web Endpoints view and take a look at this endpoint performance more generally. We're still focused on the time frame of when the memory bloat occurred, so let's change that to see the last 30 minutes. You'll see that the same log tab is here as well. Now, your logs will be filtered to only the selected controller. This works with background jobs the same way. Our managed log service is only in beta, and we're working to improve and increase its functionality every day. Managed logs in Scout is one of our most requested features and for good reason. Having all your logs available alongside your performance insights and metrics makes Scout a hugely powerful and efficient tool for any size of app. Thanks for checking out this demo. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions, suggestions, or feedback.